In The Secret of the Ages by Robert Collier, the author explores the power of the mind and its ability to shape our reality. Collier highlights the importance of aligning our thoughts with our desires and tapping into the unlimited potential of our subconscious minds. He emphasizes that everything starts with an idea, and by focusing our thoughts on success and abundance, we can manifest power, wealth, and success in our lives. Collier encourages readers to tap into their innate power and use their minds to overcome obstacles and achieve greatness. The author expresses his desire to help young married couples in their early years of marriage, particularly during difficult times. He believes that instead of relying on charity, they need inspiration and opportunities to create their own success. The author introduces the book as a way to provide guidance and support to these couples, emphasizing that the greatest good one can do is to inspire and empower others to achieve their dreams. The author believes that this will not only lead to domestic happiness, but also business success for husband and wife working together. I, the author, discusses the concept of the life principle and its role in the beginning of life on Earth. Whether one believes in evolution or creation, there had to be a first cause, a creator, that brought life to this planet. The first form of life was a humble algae, followed by the lowly amoeba. From there, life continued to evolve and adapt to different environments, showing its unlimited resourcefulness. Throughout history, the purpose of existence has always been growth, as life is dynamic and ever moving forward. The life principle has demonstrated its intelligence and ability to meet the needs of life. The importance of continuous growth and adaptation in order to survive and thrive. He draws examples from nature, history, and personal experiences to illustrate the power of the life principle, which is the inherent energy and potential within each individual. The author emphasizes that by aligning with this principle and actively working with it, one can overcome obstacles, tap into their reserve strength, and achieve extraordinary feats. He encourages readers to embrace this principle and trust in its unwavering support, as it is always ready to assist when called upon. The power of the mind and its ability to overcome obstacles and achieve great things. The story of the two boys lifting a log off their brother exemplifies how concentrated thought and belief in the possibility of success can tap into the limitless power of the mind. The author emphasizes that this power is available to anyone, regardless of their occupation or socioeconomic status. The mind can find solutions to any problem and provide the necessary knowledge and ability to overcome challenges. The author also describes the progression of human development, from relying on physical strength to harnessing the power of the mind to conquer nature and create advancements. The mental age is portrayed as a time when every individual can become their own master, breaking free from the limitations of poverty and circumstance, emphasizes the waste of human potential and the untapped power of the mind. It highlights how the average person only uses 10% of their mental power and fails to recognize the unlimited wealth and potential around them. The importance of realizing and harnessing this power is emphasized as it can enable individuals to be what they want to be, achieve their desires, and accomplish their goals. The conscious mind is introduced as the governing force behind the five physical senses and reasoning abilities, and it is stressed that it is through the conscious mind that one can access the subconscious and the universal mind. Overall, the excerpt encourages individuals to awaken their dormant powers and rise above mediocrity to become successful thinkers and doers. Centering one's conscious thoughts on what they want, rather than allowing fear or worry to dominate their mind, it emphasizes that the subconscious mind does not reason inductively, but rather takes the thoughts sent to it and works them out to their logical conclusion. The subconscious mind is described as the master of the body directing and controlling every function. It is capable of performing complex tasks and calculations, such as maintaining the specific gravity of one's blood or regulating glandular secretions. That would baffle even the greatest scientists. The video highlights the immense power of the subconscious mind and asserts that tapping into this power 
is the key to achieving success and acquiring all the good things in life. The power and capabilities of the subconscious mind. It describes the subconscious mind as a force that can communicate with others, without physical means, read thoughts, and receive intelligence. It is referred to as the soul mind and is responsible for assimilation, upbuilding, and vital bodily processes. The subconscious mind is portrayed as a powerful and beneficial force when directed properly, but it can also be destructive if not controlled. The excerpt also mentions examples of individuals with exceptional abilities that stem from their subconscious mind, such as Blind Tom, who could reproduce music upon hearing it for the first time, and young mathematical prodigies who could perform complex calculations effortlessly. Overall, the subconscious mind is depicted as a profound and influential aspect of human existence. The author presents various examples of individuals who possessed extraordinary mental calculation abilities at a young age, but later lost them as they grew older. This highlights the untapped potential of the subconscious mind and its ability to access infinite knowledge. The author argues that in the future, schools and teachers will become less necessary as individuals learn to tap into the wisdom and power of their subconscious minds. The subconscious mind, also referred to as the man inside, is seen as the smartest entity, capable of performing tasks beyond the conscious understanding of individuals. It is believed to contain not only the individual's accumulated knowledge, but also the wisdom of past ages. By tapping into the power of the subconscious mind, individuals can achieve health, happiness, and success. The importance of the subconscious mind and its ability to draw upon unlimited knowledge and power from the universal mind is discussed. The belief is that geniuses and successful individuals are ordinary people who have tapped into their subconscious minds. It is revealed that the subconscious mind has the power to control bodily functions and to bring forth ideas into consciousness. However, it is emphasized that one must learn to communicate positive thoughts to the subconscious mind, as it is highly receptive to suggestion. Negative thoughts can also penetrate the subconscious, leading to negative outcomes. This highlights the need for control over one's thoughts and the potential for achieving health, success, and happiness through this control. The Power of Suggestion and the Subconscious Mind he notes that individuals often experience symptoms or illnesses simply because they believe they have them, influenced by the power of suggestion. However, Emile Quay's system focuses on suggesting to the subconscious mind that any perceived ills are improving, which can have remarkable effects. The subconscious mind is described as wise and powerful, capable of guiding the body's functions and providing strength and abilities beyond the ordinary conscious self. Furthermore, the speaker introduces the concept of the universal mind, an all-wise and all-powerful intelligence that governs nature and all living beings. By harmonizing with this universal mind through the subconscious mind, individuals can achieve anything they desire. The Secret of the Ages by Robert Collier It is explained that the mind is part of the universal mind, and therefore there are no limits to what it can do when given the power to act. By holding a desire in your thought that is in harmony with the universal mind, you can attract the things you need to satisfy that desire from the invisible domain. This is the principle behind the power of prayer, where forming a mental image of what you desire and holding it strongly in your thought allows the universal intelligence to work with and for you to bring about the manifestation of your desires. The universal mind is all pervading and conscious of every individual just as the water encompasses the fish in the sea. However, many people fail to take advantage of this power and suffer from lack or disease because they do not believe or understand their own power. The key is to gain understanding and tap into this indwelling and unused power, which is the purpose of this course. The excerpt concludes by pondering the riddle of causation and the debate between materialism and idealism, questioning the nature of existence and the concept of life the power of mind and thought in creating our reality. They explain that everything starts with an idea and that every event, condition, and thing is first an idea in the mind of someone. Using the analogy of building a house, 
They describe how the mind draws a plan and thought forms the blueprint, which then shapes the material object. The speaker highlights that the creative principle of the universe is mind, and thought is the eternal energy. However, they note that the effects we get from mind depend on how we use it. They encourage us to connect our unlimited power of mind to tasks and work, so that we can overcome obstacles and achieve greatness. Ultimately, they stress the importance of thinking powerful, successful, and wealthy thoughts in order to manifest power, success, and riches in our lives. The Secret of the Ages by Robert Collier explores the power of perception, belief, and mindset in shaping our reality. It suggests that matter is composed of energy particles and that through the power of the mind, we can control and manipulate this energy. Emphasizes the importance of recognizing our own power and having faith in ourselves to bring about desired outcomes in life. It also highlights the significance of belief and faith in achieving success and overcoming obstacles. The transcript encourages us to tap into the power within us, harness our thoughts, and hold positive images in our subconscious mind to attract abundance. Overall, the video argues that our thoughts and beliefs have the ability to shape and manifest our desires in this energy-filled world. The idea that matter is not solid, but rather composed of energy particles called protons and electrons is explored. These particles, which make up everything in the universe, are described as vortex in the ether, dynamic and spiritual in nature. This understanding has led scientists to believe that through the power of the mind, mankind can control and manipulate this energy. It is suggested that the world we perceive is a creation of our own minds, as different individuals can experience and interpret the same stimuli differently. The example of a violin string vibrating and potentially shaking down the Brooklyn Bridge illustrates the tenuous nature of matter. Ultimately, it is proposed that we have the power to shape and manifest our desires in this energy-filled world. The power of perception and how it shapes our experiences of the world. They compare our perception to a radio receiving station where we can select which impressions we tune into. That our thoughts and mindset have the ability to shape our surroundings and create our own reality. They assert that our invisible thought forces are the most powerful forces we possess, capable of controlling our bodies and determining our destinies. The story of the king who fails to make gold because he cannot keep the word abracadabra out of his mind serves as a metaphor for how our conscious thoughts can hinder our potential. The narrator emphasizes the importance of recognizing our own power, having faith in ourselves, and using the God-given powers within us to bring about the desired outcomes in life, in the importance of belief and faith in achieving success and overcoming obstacles. The author emphasizes that doubts and negative thinking can hinder one's efforts and attract failure. Prayer is presented as not just a request for favors, but as a realization of the power within oneself and the understanding of dominion over various aspects of life. Also mentions Napoleon as an example of how belief in oneself and confidence can lead to great accomplishments, while the lack of faith can result in failure. Furthermore, it is suggested that the kingdom of heaven is within each person, and by tapping into the power within, one can control circumstances and find solutions to every problem. The world outside is seen as a reflection of one's inner thoughts and images, emphasizes the power of thoughts and beliefs in manifesting abundance or limitations in one's life. They highlight the importance of choosing thoughts of wealth, power, and success in order to attract positive outcomes. The speaker challenges the conventional belief that some must be rich and some must be poor, asserting that abundance is available to all if they align their thoughts with it. They argue that ideas, not money or property, hold the true wealth and that one can control and multiply these ideas through the power of the mind. The speaker concludes with a quote that suggests, those who have abundance will continue to receive more, while those who lack will lose even what they already possess. The power of our thoughts and the importance of holding the right ideas in our minds. He explains that every thought we have sets in motion a chain of causes that manifest in our external conditions. By consciously directing our thoughts and holding positive images in our subconscious mind, we can attract the things we desire 
such as money and success. The speaker also highlights the connection between our minds and universal mind, emphasizing that we have access to unlimited eyes and power. By realizing that our minds are part of the universal mind, we can overcome fear and worry and approach every situation with confidence. The speaker encourages us to tap into the immense potential of our subconscious mind and the universal mind as they hold the answers and solutions we seek. Ultimately, he suggests that by focusing our thoughts and beliefs on abundance and growth, we can manifest power, wealth, and a harmonious life. It is emphasized that thoughts have the power to shape and control our reality. Matter is described as inert and unintelligent, while thought is seen as a dynamic energy that can bring objects into existence from the invisible substance around us. The idea is put forth that every form of matter today is the expression of a thought or desire, and therefore, individuals have the ability to create what they desire by originating their own thoughts. The importance of using the power of the mind in the right way is emphasized, as it is believed to be the key to achieving peace and abundance. The potential of the human mind is highlighted through the references to prophecies in ancient scriptures that seem to have foretold modern inventions such as airplanes, cannons, and radios. The old idea of accepting one's birth position in society is contrasted with the new idea that individuals have the power to remake their world according to their own ideas. It is suggested that this new idea is responsible for progress and inventions and that each individual has the power within themselves to become what they will. The importance of controlling one's thoughts is emphasized as mental images are described as concentrated energy that can become power when focused on a specific purpose. The significance of imagination as a tool for discoveries and inventions is also highlighted. Ultimately, the section asserts that progress and creation are the work of individuals rather than the masses and that the achievements of individuals shape civilization. The power within each individual and the steps necessary to tap into it. It emphasizes the importance of realizing the power within oneself, knowing what one wants and focusing thoughts and efforts on achieving it. The power is described as being boundless and accessible to everyone encourages taking action, practicing, and having faith in the power within. It also mentions that all knowledge, wisdom, and power are available to individuals if they choose to access it. The responsibility for one's circumstances is placed on oneself, and the importance of understanding one's desires is emphasized. The Secret of the Ages by Robert Collier The importance of knowing what one wants is emphasized. Many people struggle aimlessly without a clear understanding of their desires or goals. The book encourages readers to harness the power of their subconscious mind, their genie of the mind, to manifest their desires into reality. The divine dissatisfaction with things as they are is recognized as the driving force behind great achievements throughout history. By keeping ambition alive and allowing the subconscious mind to guide them, Individuals can overcome any obstacle and transform their lives. That darkness, poverty, and sickness are simply absences or lacks of something. Light, necessary supply, and health, respectively. The key to overcoming these lacks is to acquire what is missing. That the mind can show the way to obtaining anything one desires. Concentration is essential in this process and encourages to focus their desires into one great dominating desire instead of scattering their wishes. By concentrating on one idea at a time, one can achieve significant results. The importance of belief is also emphasized, stating that the subconscious mind is amenable to suggestion and will ensure the fulfillment of desires that are believed to be received. The speaker concludes by highlighting that successful people are those with clear goals and who center their actions on achieving those goals, while many others live without a definite desire beyond a vague sense of servival. Emphasize the power of desire and belief in achieving one's goals. He argues that if we want something badly enough and hold on to that desire with determination, we can have anything we want and be anything we want to be. Whether it's health, wealth, or happiness, that by visualizing our desires and impressing them upon our subconscious mind, we can attract the means to accomplish them. He encourages trusting in the universal mind and the abundance of possibilities available in the present moment. By understanding our dominion over the earth 
and acting as if we already possess what we desire, we can open the door for opportunities and manifest our dreams into reality. Discusses the concept of prayer and emphasizes the importance of sincere desire and belief. They explain that prayer is not about lip service or trying to be seen by others, but rather about expressing our heart's true desires to the universal mind. To have our prayers answered, we must believe in God's ability and willingness to fulfill our requests. Using affirmations to strengthen our belief and mentions specific affirmations for various desires, such as money, thinking or writing, and happiness. They also highlight that prayer is effective and can manifest anything we truly desire, no matter how trivial it may seem. As evidence, they mention a football player who believes that prayer can even impact the outcome of a game, the power of prayer, and compares it to swimming in the ocean, emphasizing the importance of faith. They explain that just as a swimmer must trust in the water to stay afloat, one must trust in God and have confidence in their prayers. The speaker also provides a formula for successful prayer, which includes visualizing and believing in the desired outcome, reading psalms as a reminder of God's power, expressing gratitude and maintaining a sincere conviction that the desired thing has already been received. They emphasize the role of the subconscious mind and its connection to universal mind in manifesting the desired outcome, concludes by highlighting the strength and upliftment that comes from reaching out to God in times of helplessness and darkness. In this section of The Secret of the Ages, by Robert Collier, emphasizes the power of the mind and the ability to control one's thoughts and beliefs in order to shape one's reality. They discuss the concept of universal mind and the importance of working in harmony with natural forces to achieve success. The excerpt highlights the significance of visualization, clear thought, and imagination in manifesting desires. It encourages understanding the principles and laws that govern the universe and applying that understanding to solve problems. Also discusses the power of the subconscious mind and the importance of tapping into its abilities. Overall, the power within each individual to overcome obstacles and achieve their desires by harnessing the power of their mind and working in harmony with universal mind emphasizes the importance of working in harmony with natural forces in order to achieve success. It suggests that a significant portion of success or failure lies outside of conscious efforts and is determined by one's ability to cooperate with the wisdom and power of universal mind. Encourages understanding the principles and laws that govern the universe and applying that understanding to solve problems. It highlights that everyone has the power to tap into universal mind and bring their abilities to the surface, but it is essential to put that power into practice consistently. By realizing and utilizing this inherent power, one can overcome obstacles and achieve their desires. A visualization and clear, forceful thought in manifesting desires. They explain that thoughts in harmony with progress and good can penetrate the universal mind and bring back the power to accomplish them. They encourage turning to the universal mind for guidance when unsure of the right way to solve a problem, assuring that by following its advice one cannot go wrong. The speaker challenges the belief that poverty and sickness are inevitable or sent by God, stating that they are not of His making and that God expects us to manifest abundance. They advocate for establishing a contact with universal mind and acquiring understanding of the power within oneself. By doing so, Fears and worries disappear, as one knows that success, health, and happiness are determined by their ability to impress their desires upon the mind. The speaker concludes by asserting that using the mind to its best advantage involves harnessing the power of the conscious mind with the man inside you, or the subconscious mind. The concept of mental brownies or inner consciousness helpers, as described by various authors. These mental brownies are like tiny helpers that assist in solving problems and providing inspiration. By establishing a circuit through the subconscious mind with the universal, one can tap into this source of genius and progress. The process involves concentrating on a problem and then letting the subconscious mind work on it, resulting in a sudden flash of insight or solution. By learning to utilize these inner consciousness helpers, one can access a storehouse of knowledge 
and harness their ability to analyze, systematize, and arrange information for problem-solving purposes. The concept of harnessing the power of the subconscious mind is discussed. It is explained that one never truly forgets anything, as the mind stores all information and can retrieve it in due time. By consciously focusing on a specific question or problem and then passing it on to the subconscious mind with a clear mental command, one can tap into the work of the little brownies within the mind. The key is to then let go of the conscious thoughts and actions, allowing the subconscious to work on the problem. It is likened to giving orders to one's own mental workers. Also, an anecdote about a man who dreams the outcome of a horse race after immersing himself in knowledge about the horses and the race. The process of contacting the subconscious mind involves filling the mind with relevant information, finding a comfortable place to relax, and then surrendering the problem to the man inside you. The advice is to approach this process with understanding, faith, and persistence, as results are guaranteed when the conscious and subconscious minds align. On the power of visualization and the importance of imagination in achieving success, it advises to build a complete story step by step, visualizing the desired outcome and being thankful for it emphasizes that the correct solution to every problem exists in universal mind, and by seeking its help and following its suggestions, one can know and do every right thing. It highlights that without vision and the ability to visualize ahead, a person's worth is limited, but with imagination, there are no limits to capabilities and value. Uses examples such as the creation of inventions and artworks to demonstrate the significance of imagination and the power of conceiving ideas. It concludes that imagination is a quality that aligns humans closely with God and is the source of their creative power. The Secret of the Ages Robert Collier emphasizes the power of visualization and imagination in manifesting one's desires. He explains that by creating clear mental pictures of what one wants, and believing in them, the subconscious mind can bring them into reality. Collier urges individuals to see things as they would like them to be, rather than as they currently are, and to focus their concentration solely on their desired outcome until it is accomplished. He emphasizes that there are no limitations to one's capabilities, and that through the subconscious mind, one can tap into the infinite supply of the universal mind. Collier concludes with a reminder to aim high as even if one falls short, they may still achieve great things. The power of universal mind and how it grants every form of life the ability to attract what it needs for growth. They emphasize that as an intelligent being, your mind is part of this universal mind and you have the power to determine what you require for your own growth. By visualizing and holding a clear mental image of what you desire, you can control your experiences and shape your circumstances also highlights the importance of teamwork and the need to fully utilize your capabilities to achieve success. They mention that the error of mankind has always been to underestimate the power of the mind and its willingness to assist in times of need. The message here is to recognize and tap into the power within yourself oh, and the vast realm of divine intelligence to manifest your desires and bring about true progress. The author discusses the power of thoughts and how they shape our experiences. He emphasizes that all human experiences are effects that can be traced back to their causes. Whether we laugh, cry, succeed, or fail, these outcomes are a result of the thoughts we hold in our minds. The author argues that the world outside of us is a reflection of the world within us, and that by controlling our thoughts we can control the outcomes in our lives. He also mentions that matter is not real substance, but rather a reflection of our thoughts. Our past thoughts determine our current reality, but we have the power to shape our future experiences with our thoughts. The power of the mind and the ability to control one's thoughts and beliefs in order to shape one's reality. It explains that energy surrounds us and can be transformed by our thoughts into anything we desire, whether it be success or failure, health or sickness. The control of matter, using examples from the Bible, and suggests that man has the potential to transcend the limitations of the physical world through the understanding that the mind is the ultimate cause. Additionally, 
It highlights the connection between thoughts and the physical body, illustrating how emotions and mental states can affect one's health and appearance. By emphasizing the importance of directing thoughts towards one's desired outcome in order to create the reality one desires, the author emphasizes the importance of expelling negative thoughts from the mind in order to achieve true mastery over oneself. He compares the process of expelling thoughts to shaking a stone out of one's shoe, highlighting how it should be equally effortless. Collier argues that, until one can successfully control their thoughts, they are nothing more than a slave to their own mind. He discusses the power of expelling thoughts as an art that, once mastered, can lead to a grand and fulfilling life. Additionally, Collier affirms that there is no intelligence in matter and that mind, the universal substance, is the only eternal and supreme intelligence in the universe. He encourages readers to understand that there is no cause for fear and that only good, not evil, has reality and power. By actively practicing right thinking and stretching the mind's potential, one can experience unlimited health, strength, and happiness. Of always looking forward to something better in order to achieve success, they suggest practicing mental breathing exercises to control thoughts and exhaling thoughts of fear, worry, and lack. The law of supply and the abundance of resources in nature. They argue that just as one must strive to reach their second wind, in physical endurance, one must also strive to manifest the law of supply in nature, asserts that the world belongs to everyone and it owes individuals everything they desire, but they must demand it with unwavering faith and determination. They encourage individuals to dominate and apply the law of supply and to observe how nature works effortlessly without worry or anxiety, seeking the kingdom of God within oneself, which is the father or the mind, as taught by Jesus. The kingdom of God represents the power within us, and by understanding and connecting with it, we can manifest all the things we need. That true wealth comes from ideas, not money, and that money is simply a medium of exchange for ideas. Therefore, instead of seeking wealth externally, we should look within ourselves for ideas and learn to think constructively. Also highlights the significance of purposeful thinking, solving problems, and thinking beyond personal interests. It is stressed that we must think abundantly, visualize abundance, and eliminate any thoughts of limitation. By nourishing our desires and having faith, we can prosper and achieve success. Of Belief and Visualization in Achieving Success The importance of picturing the desired outcome and maintaining a positive mindset, regardless of any obstacles or fears. By aligning one's thoughts with the universal mind and impressing upon it the desired goals, one can manifest abundance and blessings in their life. Individuals to believe in their own limitless potential and to seize opportunities, emphasizing that there is no lack of opportunity and that one can accomplish anything they greatly desire. Ultimately, taking action and starting on the path towards success. Of not underestimating the value of any task, as it may hold significance in the grand scheme of things. They also assert that humans have been given dominion over the earth and should not limit themselves as they possess the power of thought and the ability to manifest their desires. Encourages individuals to have faith in themselves, the public, and their chosen professions in order to build great fortunes. They advise individuals to set clear goals and evaluate potential job opportunities based on pay, future value, and networking potential. Emphasizes continuous learning and personal growth, stating that knowledge and abilities are more important than salary alone. They use an analogy to highlight the importance of choosing a partner based on qualities other than wealth, as money should be a consideration, but never the sole focus. Having a strong and inquiring mind over material possessions. He suggests that while possessions may seem valuable, they are insignificant compared to the power of the mind. Collier encourages individuals to visualize themselves living abundantly and to believe that they already possess the wealth they desire. By creating this mental model and not allowing fear or worry to hinder it, one can attract the desired outcomes into their life. Collier also highlights the idea that money is only useful when it is put to work and used to improve the world. By focusing on providing value and finding ways to utilize money for the benefit of others, 
individuals can tap into the abundance of the universe and manifest their dreams. Ultimately, Collier instills the belief that anyone can achieve whatever they wish, as long as they have the conviction and determination to do so. Belief and faith in achieving success is emphasized. How belief can give individuals the motivation and confidence to overcome obstacles and achieve their goals. Using examples of a talisman that gives a boy newfound courage and an artist who gains confidence after finding a piece of metal, the power of belief is highlighted as the driving force behind success. It is emphasized that controlling one's thoughts and maintaining a positive mindset is crucial for manifesting desires and improving one's condition in life. Self-belief and the power of the mind are emphasized. The story of a painter who achieved great success and even led a revolt but eventually lost his talisman illustrates that it is one's own belief in oneself that truly matters. The knowledge that you can do anything you think you can is a gift that can solve every human problem and make you an incurable optimist. It is emphasized that defeat does not need to follow victory and that you should expect nothing but good. The mind holds the power to bring about health, life, boundless opportunities, and rewards. It is encouraged to open the mind, clear out channels of thought, and constantly expect good. The importance of breaking with tradition, defying precedent, and believing in the limitless capabilities of the mind is pointed out. It is stressed that success should not lead to complacency, but rather to continuous growth and striving for new achievements. Power of the mind and how it can be harnessed to achieve great success. The importance of maintaining a positive mindset as it allows for increased productivity and the ability to overcome challenges. To believe in themselves and their abilities as self-confidence is crucial in achieving success. He also notes that one's attitude and thoughts play a significant role in shaping their reality and that optimism leads to health and prosperity. Urges individuals to take responsibility for their own success and to choose wisely in building their inner world, starting over and believing in oneself. The key to achieving success is to have confidence and boldly seize the opportunities that come our way. The mind is a powerful tool, and once we take the first step towards our goals, we will find assistance from within and outside ourselves. Belief in our own abilities is crucial, and even if we haven't accomplished anything significant yet, we can tap into the infinite power within us to achieve great things. Us to trust in the presence of a higher power within us and reminds us that with faith and action, we can overcome any obstacle and accomplish our desires. It is important to visualize our goals, believe in them, and take action towards achieving them. While there may be skeptics and doubters, history has shown that those who persevere and believe in their ideas can achieve remarkable success. Us to focus on our most important desire, imprint it on our subconscious mind, and believe earnestly that we already possess it. By doing this consistently, Having an unwavering belief and taking action, we can make our desert is a real Robert Collier explores the concept of truth and its power to bring freedom. He explains that truth is the underlying reality in everything we encounter in life, whether it's solving a math problem or dealing with personal situations. Knowing the truth enables us to free ourselves from doubt, worry, and trouble. Collier also discusses the power of truth in relation to the body stating that holding the truth about your body's perfection in your mind can prevent illness and keep you healthy. He emphasizes that the truth was the mentality of Jesus, enabling him to exercise power over evil and heal others. Collier stating that all sickness, poverty, and sorrow result from the incorrect use of God's gifts and that rearranging our understanding of these gifts in alignment with truth brings harmony and correct answers. The power of the mind and the importance of having an open mind to find the truth. They suggest that any great movement or belief must have at least a grain of truth behind it. They also discuss the relationship between the mind and the body, stating that the images of thought we hold in our subconscious mind can influence our physical health. The speaker challenges the notion that disease is a visitation of providence or a result of external factors, and instead, suggests that fear and negative thoughts are what create disease. 
They encourage individuals to focus on the perfect model of health in their thoughts and let go of any diseased images. The idea that the mind can influence the body's response to conditions such as drafts and colds and advocates for holding positive thoughts of health and denying the existence of illness. The power of the mind in shaping our health and well-being. They highlight how disease and sickness are the result of wrong thinking and that by holding a mental image of perfect health and functioning, we can manifest it in our bodies. The notion that physical exercise is essential for the perfect development of the body, arguing that the mind is the primary cause and visualization is what brings results. Additionally, they discuss the law of attraction and the importance of giving value and service, stating that what we give out is what we receive in return. Poverty and want, they explain, are the result of a focus on lack and sorrow, and by changing our thoughts, we can change our circumstances. Opening up a channel of service between universal supply and human needs is emphasized. By providing valuable service to others and offering better values, one is bound to profit. It is crucial to use the talents given by God to make the world better and not neglect or abuse them. The parable of the talents is referenced to illustrate the significance of utilizing one's abilities. The law of life is said to revolve around using the forces of good and treating others with love and respect. To attract more of the universal supply, one must make themselves of greater service to those around them. The idea of giving, serving, and putting extra effort into work is highlighted as a means to not only improve one's own position, but to benefit others as well. Thinking and constantly seeking ways to improve one's work is emphasized by being proactive and constantly looking for ways to make things easier, quicker, and better. Individuals can make themselves indispensable to their employers and customers. Giving more than expected is also highlighted, as it is believed that one will receive back more than they give. This can manifest in the form of raises, appreciation, and even opportunities for advancement. By understanding this principle and applying it consistently, individuals can open themselves up to greater success and abundance in their professional lives. Recognizing the value in every task and endeavor, and the importance of putting our best effort into everything we do, they encourage to tap into the universal mind and trust that our needs and desires will be met when the time is right. The power of suggestion and using the laws that are within our reach to achieve health, happiness, and success. Ultimately, it is our mindset and initiative that determine our fate and financial independence. The concept of giving and receiving in the context of work and personal interactions. That every action we take is a form of advertising ourselves, and by providing exceptional service and being genuine in our interactions, we create a positive advertisement for our skills and abilities. Encourages giving in all aspects of life, from sharing ideas to helping others, as this creates a powerful law of reciprocity that brings greater returns in the long run. By following this principle, the author believes that individuals can become influential and successful in their organizations, as well as find fulfillment in their personal lives, initiative, and faith in achieving success is emphasized. The ability to believe in oneself and have the courage to take action is seen as crucial in both business and personal life. The example of Leonardo da Vinci is given, depicting how he overcame his humble beginnings and became a renowned artist through determination and effort. The idea that all individuals possess hidden abilities and potential is explored, with the analogy of a landowner discovering hidden riches on his property. The message is clear. By tapping into our subconscious mind and accessing the knowledge and skills of those who came before us, we can unlock our own potential for greatness. The idea that within every person lies untapped potential and hidden abilities, just like the valuable resources hidden beneath the surface of the earth. The speaker stresses the importance of realizing that everything that has been achieved or accomplished already exists in universal mind, and that as individuals, we have access to it. However, in order to tap into this universal knowledge and potential, one must have faith in their own abilities, take initiative, and have the courage to start. Discouragement is identified as the most dangerous feeling, as it can hinder progress and separate failure from success. 
The importance of cultivating confidence and believing in one's unlimited power and potential is emphasized, as well as taking dominion over one's life and circumstances. Overall, the message is to tap into the universal knowledge and resources available to us and to have faith in our own abilities in order to achieve success and fulfillment. Fear and how it can manifest negative outcomes in one's life. How fear is the cause of trouble and misfortune, as it is merely creative thought in negative form. Also recalls the economic collapse in 1920, attributing it to a wave of fear that swept over the country. Fear is described as the greatest torment of humanity, causing sin, disaster, disease, and misery. It is emphasized that fear is the real cause of all sickness, as the images and thoughts of disease held in the mind can manifest in the body. The importance of the mind in controlling the functions and reactions of the body is emphasized, suggesting that the mind has the power to shape one's experiences and health. The mind and how it affects our physical bodies and experiences, they emphasize that our thoughts and fears have the power to manifest into reality and that illnesses and disturbances are often caused by our own wrong thinking. By focusing on positive thoughts and banishing fear and worry, we can create a healthier and more abundant life for ourselves. Also advises against associating with negative individuals and warns against the detrimental effects of fretting and worrying. Compares the calmness and stillness of a lake with the restless nature of the ocean to illustrate how our minds can reflect the abundance of universal mind. It is emphasized that constantly worrying and being filled with fear prevents us from mirroring peace, health, and happiness. The importance of relaxation and giving the mind a chance is highlighted, along with the idea that after doing our best, we can confidently leave the outcome to universal mind. The negative impact of wrong thinking on both our bodies and the realm of commerce. We need to protect ourselves more from our own fears and wrong thoughts rather than external influences. The importance of wiping the slate clean and not carrying each day's worries over to the next is emphasized. Emphasizing the belief in the availability of good and the need to turn confidently to it in times of need, with the reassurance that the Father is always available for us if we call upon Him in the right way, also touches upon the idea that if our work and business are aligned with Universal Mind's plan, then it is just as interested in their success as we are. Rely on mind and ask for any right thing they desire, as long as it is intended for good. The power of the mind and its ability to attract unlimited riches and possibilities. It encourages not to worry about lack or competition, but to tap into the potential of their subconscious mind to create wealth and make the world a better place. The importance of being a pioneer, finding new opportunities, and using the wisdom of all ages to achieve success. By realizing the availability of universal mind and nourishing the mind daily, individuals can expand their vision, increase their capacity, and overcome any obstacles that come their way. Relaxation and visualization in manifesting abundance. They provide a simple exercise to relax the muscles and emphasize the unlimited power that each individual possesses. Goes on to mention that since humans are made in the image of God, they should not lack for anything good, as God only manifests infinite abundance. Concentrate their thoughts on their desires, visualize themselves achieving those desires, have faith in the manifestation, and express gratitude for what they have received. An anecdote about a man who worried needlessly about troubles that never actually occurred, in contrast, explains that even the lowest creatures, such as parasites, can call upon universal supply for their needs. Therefore, it is suggested that if universal mind can provide for the smallest creatures, it is logical to believe that it will do even more for humans if they have faith and call upon it. Faith and trust in times of peril and calamity. To have faith and not worry about the outcome after they have done their best. He uses examples from biblical stories, such as the parting of the Red Sea and the crossing of the River Jordan, to illustrate the idea that there is always a solution or remedy available when needed. The importance of understanding one's inner powers and having a strong connection with the universal mind, which can provide guidance and protection in difficult times. He's stating that by remembering our infinite powers within, we can overcome any obstacle or catastrophe.
The Secret of the Aegis. Robert Collier explains how our thoughts and beliefs shape our reality. He emphasizes that our minds are connected to universal mind, which holds the solution to every problem. By realizing that negative circumstances are not real and refusing to acknowledge them, we can seek the right conditions through our minds and overcome any trial. Collier encourages us to visualize the conditions we desire and declare that we already have them, impressing this thought upon our subconscious minds. He assures us that our thought is all-powerful, creative, and limitless, and that by believing and receiving what we desire, our minds will make it true. Collier shares anecdotes of people who have experienced miraculous recoveries and the warding off of calamities through the power of belief. He reminds us that our doubts and fears limit our ability to receive abundance and that we are entitled to as much supply as we can appropriate from universal mind. As long as our longings are not harmful, universal mind will satisfy them. Delighting in the Lord and realizing that God is not a distant figure, but rather a benevolent force present in nature. It emphasizes that universal mind is an infinite source uh, of good, and that with a right understanding of its availability, fears, worries, and limitations can be overcome. The power of universal mind in performing miracles, highlighting the importance of recognizing its presence and relying on it, instead of relying solely on one's conscious mind. It emphasizes that this inspiration and working of universal mind is available for all undertakings and tasks, regardless of their significance. It uses a metaphorical story to illustrate the importance of appreciating and making the most of the present rewards and chances in life, rather than constantly seeking bigger things in the future. Recognizing the value of every task and prize in our lives. It is not about certain occupations being more important than others, but rather about putting our best effort and inspiration into whatever we do. Tapping into the universal mind and our subconscious to find solutions to our problems and needs, trusting that they will be met when the time comes. They also discuss the power of suggestion and utilizing the laws that God has placed within our reach to achieve health, happiness, and success. With a reminder that how we use our minds and take initiative plays a significant role in determining our fate and financial independence in the future. Universal wisdom and encourages individuals to tap into this wisdom to discover new laws and inventions that can improve their lives. Additionally, the significance of concentration, initiative, and the power of the subconscious mind in solving problems and achieving greatness. Urging individuals to believe in their inner power and to tap into the infinite resources of the universal mind to manifest their desires and live a fulfilled life. Taking control of one's fate. The power to shape one's life and achieve success lies in one's own hands. By recognizing that matter is controlled by the mind and visualizing desired outcomes, individuals can change their conditions and find happiness. The invisibility of powerful forces like love and law to assert that just because something cannot be seen does not mean it does not exist. The concept of universal wisdom and the potential for humans to tap into this wisdom to discover new laws and inventions that can improve their lives. With a reference to the story of a farmer who did not realize the wealth he had on his own land until he dug deeper, serving as a metaphor for individuals who fail to tap into their own inner power and potential self-confidence, and the power of choice. Every day is filled with decisions, and having faith in oneself and in the infinite intelligence within is crucial. The successful person sees opportunities and seizes them, never doubting their ability to succeed. On the other hand, the unsuccessful person wishes they could take advantage of opportunities but fears failure. The future is within one's control, not subject to luck or fortune. By vividly imagining what one desires and aligning their thoughts with the universal mind, one can bring their desires into reality. The key is to act as if success has already been achieved, projecting an image of success to the world. Our thoughts and how they can manifest in our lives. They explain that by raising our vibration through positive thinking and sending out thoughts of abundance and success, we can attract those same vibrations to us. 
also that the universal mind does not play favorites and that anyone can tap into its power. The key is to decide what we want in life, envision it, believe in it, and reach our subconscious mind through the moment of going to sleep. Regardless of age or wealth, the time to start is now, with a poem that highlights the importance of perseverance and never giving up on our goals, thought, and the power it holds in shaping our lives. He emphasizes that our ability to think is our connection to the universal mind, which provides us with inspiration, energy, and power. He compares the mind to a storage battery of power, stating that it has the potential for all resources and energy, but it is up to us to utilize it. The role of creative thinking and how it enables us to manifest our desires also warns against clinging to old negative thoughts and emphasizes the need to push them away in order to make room for new life and abundance. He uses metaphors such as Sinbad the Sailor and the Turtle to illustrate the importance of using all our mental and physical resources to overcome challenges and tap into our hidden potential. Believes that when we recognize the power within ourselves and call upon the universal mind, we can access infinite resources and achieve anything we desire, the power within each individual and the importance of utilizing it. They use the example of a wealthy woman who is unaware of her power and therefore unable to benefit from it. The author emphasizes that just like this woman, we all have access to unlimited ideas, energy, and wealth, but we must tap into our subconscious minds to unlock them. They argue that limiting oneself to superficial conditions is equivalent to being a mere servant, and that the secret to power lies in understanding the infinite resources of our own minds. They cite examples of Jesus and Abraham Lincoln, who believed in their inner power despite ridicule and skepticism. Inner consciousness of power and tap into the kingdom of heaven within themselves. They also stress the importance of converting knowledge into action and making dreams a reality, as imagination alone is weak. That power implies service, encouraging readers to focus their thoughts on making their visions of great deeds a reality. Concentration and focusing on one thing is emphasized. The example of the Salvation Army during the war is given where they achieved significant success by concentrating on serving donuts to the soldiers. The concept is further illustrated with the story of Porcius Marcus Cato, who single-mindedly concentrated on his belief that Carthage must be destroyed, leading to its destruction. It is said that humans, like horses, can only focus on one thing at a time and achieve success by doing one thing well. The advice is to take one piece of work at a time, concentrate on it, finish it completely, and then move on to the next task. The importance of resolute decision-making and perseverance is also highlighted, along with the notion that success is not just about earning a salary but going above and beyond to work for oneself. Initiative and focusing on one thing at a time is emphasized that big men in the business world value individuals who take initiative and concentrate their thoughts and efforts on a specific department or process. The example of a man who significantly increased the value of a position by thinking big thoughts and having a wider view of his work is given. The concept that big things are achieved by putting together little things, comparing the construction of a tall office building to the combination of steel, stone, and wood. Patience is another essential quality discussed, emphasizing the need to wait for the opportune moment to present a plan. The importance of being open to learning from others, as true big men are eager to learn from everyone and anything. The value of books and knowledge in business, stating that nothing pays better interest than judicious reading. He advises investing in more knowledge than necessary for one's current job, as it can lead to better opportunities. The demands of business require using talents to the fullest, which can be achieved through careful planning and consistent effort. Not letting down once work has started, as starting again, requires more effort. He outlines the keys to efficiency in business, including knowing what you want, planning ahead, doing one thing at a time, and keeping going once started. Using the power of the subconscious mind to solve problems and gives advice on preparing a list of important tasks before sleep to allow the unconscious mind to work on solutions the subconscious mind and its ability to solve problems and bring about success.
it emphasizes the importance of having confidence in oneself and one's abilities, as this confidence attracts unlimited power from the universal mind. By accessing this universal mind and aligning one's thoughts and beliefs with it, one can tap into its infinite resources and achieve greatness. The role of the subconscious mind in passing along the wisdom and skills of great individuals throughout history. That success is not a result of luck, but rather the operation of natural laws that can be harnessed by the power of the mind, the power of initiative and imagination in achieving success and happiness. They highlight that everyone has the ability to aspire to any goal or position, as the mind is capable of handling any problem, big or small. By using initiative and giving the mind something to work upon, individuals can tap into their creative power and turn their dreams into reality. The importance of imagination, stating that it is through imagination that we connect with the divine and access the creative power of universal mind. They encourage listeners to use their imagination to picture their heart's desires so vividly that they truly believe they already have it, and in doing so, they will manifest their dreams into reality. Power of belief and the role of creative imagination in achieving success. They argue that lack of training or education is not a barrier to success, as history is filled with examples of poor and uneducated individuals who accomplished great things through the use of their imagination. The importance of using one's creative imagination to envision possibilities and to create opportunities for both oneself and others. The connection between religion and resignation to one's circumstances, suggesting that organized society relies on the belief that inequality is natural and that a future state will make things right. That religion as commonly taught is used to satisfy the common people and maintain social order. However, Christianity, as taught by Jesus and practiced in its early years, was meant to open the way to all good and benefit everyone. The notion that only a few have the right to enjoy the good things in life while the majority toil and serve them. Poverty is criticized as not being right or meritorious, and the individuals to seek happiness in the present moment rather than constantly deferring it. The purpose of existence is seen as growth, and this growth necessitates happiness. That happiness should be the everyday enjoyment of everyday people through love, laughter, and honest amusement. It is believed that God never intended for people to live joyless lives of poverty and that poverty is a man-made limitation. The natural law is a uh, one of abundance, and individuals have the ability to tap into the infinite supply of blessings and gifts available to all. Shifting one's consciousness away from worry and poverty in order to attract abundance and prosperity. The power of thoughts as energy and magnets highlighting the need to focus on abundance and plenty instead of debt and poverty. It also explores the power of perception and the role it plays in manifesting prosperity. Imagine and believe in what they desire, trusting in the invisible source of creation to bring it into material manifestation. The power of the subconscious mind is also discussed, emphasizing its role in shaping physical health and overall well-being. The belief in aging and offers examples of individuals who remained vibrant and active well into their old age, suggesting that age is determined by our mindset. Additionally, the limitations of conventional medicine are explored, suggesting that healing is primarily a spiritual and natural process influenced by the power of the mind. The importance of bringing surroundings back to natural conditions and utilizing the unlimited power of the mind in the treatment of diseases, the power of the mind, and the importance of maintaining good health and strength. It suggests that our minds gather rich ideas from the invisible ether that can stimulate us to undertake prosperous endeavors. The need to envision abundance and prosperity in order for these ideas to manifest in our lives. It also alludes to the story of the sculptor Pygmalion, emphasizing that we have the ability to shape our ideal selves by keeping a positive image in our subconscious mind. That health and strength are natural, and we can achieve them by thinking, feeling, and acting in the right way. That exercise alone is not sufficient, and that following simple rules 
can help us build muscles, increase energy, and attain the vitality and vigor of youth. Dr. Charles M. Wharton, a physical education expert, criticizes the belief that exercise is a cure-all for health issues. He argues that excessive physical training can actually harm more people than it benefits. Dr. Wharton emphasizes the importance of enjoying sports and using physical activity as relaxed play for young men at the University of Pennsylvania. The misconceptions surrounding diet, with Dr. Woods Hutchinson debunking, claims that meat causes diseases such as gout and rheumatism. Instead, Dr. Hutchinson suggests that these ailments are caused by local infections. The role of diet and exercise in keeping the desired outcome in the patient's mind to influence the subconscious. It also emphasizes the mental benefits of outdoor activities in providing a rest for a tired mind and assisting in problem solving. The power of the subconscious mind in shaping one's physical health and overall well-being. They argue that perfect youth or perfect health is merely a state of mind and that every cell and tissue in the body is subject to the control of the subconscious mind. By holding positive thoughts and beliefs about one's body and health, individuals can influence their physical well-being. Furthermore, the notion that aging automatically leads to a decline in energy and enjoyment of life, stating that genuine youth is a mental state and that individuals can maintain their vitality and enthusiasm as they grow older through a right understanding of what to expect from their bodies. Aging and challenges the belief that old age is inevitable. He presents various examples, such as the Englishman Thomas Parr, who lived to be 152 years old, and an Arab man in Palestine, who is growing his third set of teeth at the age of 105, that there is no natural reason for humans to age as quickly as they do, and points to scientific evidence that shows living cells can be kept alive indefinitely. That immortality is a fundamental property of living organisms and questions. The idea that the soul disappears with the body. The idea that our bodies are constantly renewing themselves through the process of cell regeneration. Refers to scientific experiments conducted on infusorians, single-celled organisms, which have shown that these organisms have the potential for immortality. The author argues that if these unicellular bodies possess the power of immortality, then we, as complex beings made up of simple cells, also possess this potential. The author goes on to explain that our bodies are constantly changing and renewing, and that the key to maintaining youthfulness lies in our subconscious mind, which directs the rebuilding and renewal of our cells, suggests that by holding a vision of youth, vigor, and strength in our mind's eye, we can manifest these qualities in our physical bodies. Constantly looking forward and expecting growth is emphasized. Youth is characterized by the belief that there is always something better to strive for, while age often leads to looking back and reminiscing about lost youth. The author argues that this shift in mindset is what ultimately leads to the deterioration of the body and the belief that aging is inevitable. However, the author challenges this belief by stating that growth is a continuous process and the body has the inherent ability to constantly rebuild and renew itself by maintaining a mindset of growth and harnessing the power of the subconscious mind individuals can prevent the effects of aging and continuously improve mentally and physically the importance of continuously looking forward and growing throughout one's life using the analogy of an engineer building a bridge he argues that just as a good engineer would not discard plans halfway through the project, individuals should not give up on themselves and their potential as they age. He challenges the notion of aging as a decline and argues that it is possible to continue improving physically and mentally, that the idea of decay and death as natural processes is man-made, and that individuals have the power to overcome these beliefs and live vibrant lives. He cites religious texts and examples of famous individuals who achieved great things later in life to support his argument that age should not be a limitation, the power of the mind in controlling the aging process. He shares examples of individuals who remained vibrant and active well into their old age. That age is determined by one's mindset. Collier compares the human body to an electric transportation system, stating that thoughts provide the energy that drives it. 
He encourages to choose youth by envisioning their ideal selves and feeding their minds with thoughts of health and vigor. Collier also shares the story of a prince who transformed his physical appearance by gazing at a statue of himself with a straight back and noble bearing. Visualize their desired changes and give their subconscious mind a clear model to work upon, promising that transformation is possible within 11 months. It is discussed how the medical profession is coming to terms with the fact that drugs and medicine may not be as effective as once believed. Dr. Woods Hutchinson states that if 99% of drugs were thrown into the sea, it would be a good thing for the human race. Sir Arbuthnot Lane goes as far as to say that if people were healthy, there would be no need for doctors. The chapter also mentions the rise and fall of patent medicine fakirs and the resurgence of similar practices in a more respectable manner. It is argued that the belief in the effectiveness of drugs plays a significant role in their perceived effectiveness and that the mind's belief in the cure may be more impactful than the drug itself. The Power of Belief and the Limitations of Conventional Medicine It highlights the case of Don Luigi Garofalo, a priest in Naples who claims to cure various illnesses using red earth pills. While this does not imply that dirt or any other earth can cure illnesses, it demonstrates the potential of belief in helping people recover. Why Drugs Lose Their Efficacy Over Time suggesting that the initial belief in their healing power diminishes with repeated use. It cites Dr. Richard C. Cabot of Harvard University, who claims that a significant portion of illnesses are cured unknowingly by the body itself. That while preventive medicine, surgery, and obstetrics have their place in the medical field, the art of drugging is still limited. It emphasizes that healing is primarily a spiritual and natural process, driven by the innate healing power of the body or what Christians refer to as God. Quoting Dr. Joseph Byrne, who asserts that over 90% of all human ailments are self-limited and heavily influenced by the power of the mind, that the mind plays a significant role in healing, and that relying solely on drugs may not always be the most effective approach to wellness, that the regular use of drugs is more likely to harm than to heal. While drugs may remove obstructions and kill parasites, their healing power is limited. The use of drugs should stop at cleaning and cauterizing wounds so that nature can take over the healing process. That healing is always affected through the control of the mind, and medicinal remedies simply set the machinery of the mind in motion. The medical profession has made significant improvements in health, not through drugs, but by scotching diseases at their source and returning to natural, wholesome conditions. Preventive measures such as cleanliness, purity, and sunshine have been the key to conquering diseases such as typhus, typhoid, malaria, and yellow fever. The future of medicine lies in bringing surroundings back to natural conditions and using the illimitable power of the mind in the treatment of diseases. The power of the subconscious mind in achieving and maintaining lasting health. They argue that real health cannot be found in pillboxes or medicine bottles, but rather through harnessing the power of the mind. While some doctors initially dismiss this idea, Evidence has shown that the mind has a significant influence on the body, even in curing diseases. That the attitude, demeanor, and mental influence of healthcare professionals play a vital role in the healing process. They mention the endorsement of psychotherapy by various respected figures in the scientific and medical fields. That there is practically no limit to how far the mind can go in curing disease, and that our thoughts and beliefs directly impact our physical well being. The power of fear and belief in shaping our experiences with health and illness. How our fear of diseases can actually contribute to us manifesting those diseases in our own lives. The example of Houdini staying alive in a sealed coffin for an extended period of time challenges the belief that lack of oxygen is immediately fatal. It also explores how sudden emotions or fear can lead to miraculous healings, such as a paralyzed man running up the stairs unaided or the healing miracles attributed to religious shrines. The importance of desire and faith in healing, with the understanding that truly believing in and accepting our perfect health can create the reality of that health. Faith in its role in miraculous healings. They give examples of people from different religious backgrounds who experienced healing through their belief and prayers, that the key to these miracles is the combination of desire and faith. 
They also touch on the concept of universal mind or God, explaining that this higher intelligence was responsible for the development of life on Earth, from the simplest form to more complex organisms. That this intelligence continuously progresses and adapts to meet the needs of each stage of life. The concept of man as a perfect creation of the universal mind, constantly progressing towards the likeness of its creator. It suggests that just as lower forms of life have the inherent power to develop and adapt, humans also possess this power if they can learn how to tap into it. It mentions how Jesus and his disciples demonstrated this power and how many have experienced healing through psychology or religion. The idea that the cure of disease is not miraculous but divinely natural, requiring an understanding that the mind is the only creator and that the body's true image is one of health and vitality. It explains that by changing one's beliefs and thoughts, the subconscious mind can be directed to build the body. Along the right lines, leading to healing and well-being. The idea that protons and electrons are composed entirely of electricity and that their behavior is influenced by the subconscious mind. It emphasizes that the body has no say in whether it shall be diseased or healthy, as it is the mind that decides. It references Jesus as a teacher who understood the laws of nature and demonstrated the power of the mind to cure disease. That sickness is merely an illusion and a result of fear or suggestion working on the conscious mind. By denying beliefs of pain or sickness and understanding the power of the subconscious mind, one can overcome illness. That the mind is the ultimate cause and that every individual has the ability to heal themselves through the power of their own mind. Power of the mind in shaping the body. They argue that the physical organs do not hold the preponderance of power but rather it is the mind that has the ability to influence and direct the functioning of each organ. By holding thoughts of sickness, poverty, or limitation, individuals reproduce these experiences in their lives, banish such negative thoughts, and instead focus on the perfect image of health and abundance that exists in universal mind. They compare the body to a complex machine that is dependent on the intelligence and direction of the mind. Just as an electric machine cannot run properly without a strong current, the body cannot function optimally without the guidance of the subconscious mind. Encourages individuals to look inward and investigate their subconscious mind when issues arise within their bodies, as the subconscious mind holds the information and directions needed for the proper functioning of the organs. By recognizing the power of the mind and aligning it with positive thoughts and beliefs, Individuals can tap into their true potential and achieve optimal health and well-being, power of belief in influencing our physical well-being. How our subconscious mind responds to the beliefs we hold about our bodies. By holding a perfect image of our eyes, for example, we can prevent vision problems. That all diseases and sicknesses stem from the erroneous belief that our bodies have control over our minds and can become ill without our consent. To overcome this, one must deny the power of the body over the mind and refuse to believe any complaints from the body. Mentions a study where hypnotic suggestion was used to offset the effects of poisons in the human system, the influence of belief on the body's response to drugs. Overall, the message is to have faith in the power of the mind and the ability to overcome physical ailments through the right state of mind that churches should learn from Mary Baker Eddy, the discoverer and founder of Christian science and focus on healing in order to attract a larger following. They emphasize that people go to church to pray and seek answers to their prayers, so if churches show them how to heal themselves and find spiritual guidance, they will no longer struggle with empty buildings, denying the existence of illness and holding the image of perfect health in the mind. They explain that the body is a reflection of the thoughts held in mind, and changing those thoughts is necessary for healing. Additionally. They mention that understanding the power of the subconscious mind and its connection to divine mind is essential in overcoming fear and achieving recovery. Jesus to reinforce the idea that those who follow his teachings will not experience death and describes the subconscious mind as a gift from God that should be used wisely, power of the subconscious mind, and its ability to manifest thoughts in the body. It emphasizes that the subconscious does not reason or judge, 
it only receives and obeys. That by denying any negative thoughts or conditions, and focusing on the perfect image of the body held by the universal mind, one can rebuild and heal any damaged parts. The idea that our bodies are made up of energy controlled by the mind, and with a deep understanding of this, we can perform what others would consider miracles with our bodies. Importance of governing the body with the mind and not letting popular beliefs or custom dictate our health. It suggests that there is no necessity for disease or fatigue and that the mind can call upon the forces of nature to aid in emergencies. The power of the mind in healing, stating that electrical treatments, tonics, and rubs are only effective to the extent that they focus the subconscious mind on the affected areas and that the same results can be achieved through the power of the mind alone. Belief and the role of the subconscious mind in healing and maintaining health. They emphasize the importance of holding a perfect image of the body and the mind, as universal mind never created disease and it is only an illusion of the conscious mind. The subconscious mind, which is responsible for regulating the body's functions, can be influenced by suggestion, so one must avoid worry and negative thoughts. By focusing on the perfect model held in universal mind and maintaining positive belief, one can manifest health and well-being. Using affirmations to reinforce this belief, with specific examples given for treating ailments such as stomach, the subconscious mind is influenced by both our own beliefs and the beliefs of those around us. This means that even infants and young children can be affected by the fears and worries of their parents and caregivers. An example of how subconscious beliefs about a poison can lead to detrimental effects, even if the conscious mind is unaware. Similarly, the subconscious mind can attract diseases and illnesses based on the beliefs and suggestions it has been programmed with. However, by recognizing that children are children of God and affirming their perfect health and protection, parents can shift their subconscious beliefs and ensure the well-being of their children. The key is to have unwavering faith and trust in the process, just as one would approach a mathematical problem with confidence in finding a solution. The concept of the kingdom of heaven as a hidden treasure within one's consciousness. It suggests that once you find this treasure and recognize it as the indwelling spirit, it is worth more than any other possession. The power and benefits of realizing this treasure stating that it grants the individual a power above their potential destroyers and opens the doorway to heaven. The infinite power given to them and emphasizes that being truly grateful is the surest evidence of real faith. That the world is evolving and humanity is beginning to understand its illimitable powers, learning its relation to the infinite. It encourages individuals to align themselves with the divine pattern and make all things according to that vision.